Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video was going to be a review slash demo using the new Anastasia Master Palette by Mario and the new Ultimate Glow Kit. But first with the Ultimate Glow Kit, at first I didn't like it. Like I, I really, really didn't like it because whenever I put my highlighter on, I, I always do, even with all their highlighters because that's pretty much all I use. Um, You know, I just couldn't get to show up and I like my highlight like banging so it was really a disappointment to me but I figured out that if you use them wet it makes a world of difference so whenever I go to put this on I spray my face with my like Max Mac fix plus setting spray and then I apply this and it makes a huge amount of difference so with that being said now this is my favorite currently just so odd because you know I really couldn't stand it whenever I got it but I'm really happy that I found a way to use it that I love so I would definitely recommend it and if you tried it and you didn't like it I would definitely recommend trying it wet because that might solve some of your issues so they are more um, like skin tone colors I know they've come out with some crazy highlighters in the past and I love those too I love my green and my blue and my purple highlighters yes but it's nice to you know be normal for once so I really like these um, I use amber gold a lot and hot sand and then I like snow too but they're all really great colors so I will go ahead and swatch all these again but obviously not on this hand because it's stained from the new Kat Von D everlasting liquid lipsticks which I would say they're everlasting because I've washed my hands like 50 times since last night and I've taken a shower so they're not going anywhere the first shade is snow and it's a like white it's pretty sheen this was like the least sparkly one they're all like metallic but I feel like some of them have some sort of glitter type if you know what I'm saying this one is white sand it's like very close to a skin tone color it's it's pretty hard to see and again this is a dry swatch so it you know it's not as bold okay this one is golden dawn It's a little bit darker. You can see it a little bit better, but again, it's not too bold. Then the next one is Sunray. It's pretty close to Golden Dawn. This is the Amber Gold again. And then the last one is hot sand. I mean, you can definitely see them, but they're very, very close to like natural skin colors. And so they don't tend to show up as well dried. I think that was my problem because like I said, I want my highlight to be, you know, blinding so the key is wet so if you don't like it or if you've tried it and you don't like it because you think it doesn't show up enough try it wet before you you know take it back or send it back or whatever because it really is the bomb so next is the master palette by mario and um, when i first got this i couldn't help but think you know it looks really small so then I realized that there is only 12 shadows in it, whereas the Modern Renaissance has 14. But I mean, that's not a big deal. Immediately when you open it up, you can see that there is only three matte shades right here. And the rest are all shimmer. So it made me kind of nervous because I don't really mess a whole lot with shimmery shades anymore. But this is like the perfect fall palette. But as far as quality, I would say it's very comparable to the Modern Renaissance palette. Um, they blend really easily. And the brush that comes with it 
is almost like the one that came in Modern Renaissance, but I feel like the bristles are slightly different and I, for the better. So, I mean, I actually use this brush. And I think this palette is a, I don't know, maybe a few dollars more than the Modern Renaissance and you get less shadows, but still overall I would rate it, you know, 10 out of 10 because it is a really good palette. They are super blendable. I mean, that's, it's what I have on right now. I don't have anything like dramatic on right now, but it's just really nice for fall. So enough rambling, we will get started with a tutorial. Okay, so I've already primed my eyelid and I'm going to go in first with the shade Kim and I'm going to apply it to my lid. I'm going to be using the brush that came with the palette and I'm going to be using the, I don't know how to explain it. Not the fluffy blending in, but the, the other end. And I'm just going to apply this to my lid. It doesn't take a whole lot because I have like really small eyelids. Then I'm going to go back in and I'm going to be using Fifth Avenue and I'm going to be using this flat Morphe brush. And I'm just going to take a little bit of that and I'm going to put it in the inner corner, like the first half of my eyelid, just so it's not so dark all over. And so there's a little bit more dimension, I guess you could say. So my first crease color is going to be Lula and I'm going to be using the Morphe M433 brush. I'm just going to blend this out pretty much right below my eyebrows and I'm going to kind of blend the lid color in with it so it's not such a harsh line. Then I'm going to go in with Isabel and I'm going to be using the same Morphe M433 brush. And I'm just kind of going to do the same thing. I'm just going to like layer the color on. Then for the last color I'm going to go in with Violetta and I'm going to be using the Sigma E38 Diffuse Crease Brush and I'm just going to take like a tiny, tiny bit of product and I'm going to start like on the outer corner but in the crease if that makes sense and I'm just going to like really blend it out. I don't want it to be super dark but I want to give it some more definition because I don't have a very well defined crease and I have hooded eyes so I'm just doomed all over then for my lower lid I'm gonna go back in with the shades Kim and Violetta so first I'm gonna go in with Kim and I'm gonna use the same brush that I did how I applied it by my eyelids and I'll just blend this out under here Then I'll take the Violetta and I'm going to be using this Morphe flat top. It's like pretty stiff. It's good for like lower lash line. It came in a kit so it doesn't have a number but I'll link the kit down below. And then I will just put this under my lash line and I'm going to stay like really close to it. I don't have very big eyes so I don't like to drag my uh, products down very far. Because it just really overpowers my eyes and it can actually make them look smaller. For my eyeliner I'm going to be using the NYX Matte Liquid Liner. And I don't know why but it's always like 800 times harder to do this on camera than it is any other time.
So I can't quite tell if they're even because I have lashes on this side, but usually after I put my lashes on, I always go back in and like fix anything. But as long as it looks okay in the end, like I, re I really don't care. For my lashes, I'm gonna be using the Huda Beauty. I'm using uh, Sasha, number 11. So I'll go ahead and line my waterline with the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner, and this is in the color Swerve. Then I will finish off with the NYX Doll Eye Mascara. Um, this is the waterproof one. So now I'll go in with my Ultimate Glow Kit and I do use it wet so I'm going to start with the MAC Fix Plus Spray and I'm just going to spray this and set my face and then I will apply my highlighter. And to apply it I'm going to use the Morphe M501 brush. Ah, smells so good. Okay, so I'm going to be using the shade Amber Gold. And then I can't forget the eye, so I'm going to use Amber Gold, and I will highlight under my brow. And I will also do the inner corners of my eyes. Then I will usually go back in and I will use Hot Sand. And I'll just go over my cheeks, because you can never be too highlighted. Ever. Ever. And last but not least, I'm going to go in with the new Allison liquid lipstick. Um, I feel like this is a cross between the shades Catherine and Dusty Rose, which actually works out really well for me because those are my two absolute favorite shades. So this is like, yes, yes. So first I'm going to overline the shit out of my lips because they're small and I don't know, I don't really have $500 laying around where I can go get lip injections right now, so this is how it's going to have to go down. But to do that, I'm going to be using the NYX lip liner and this is in the shade Ever. I feel like this is a really, really close match to Allison. I don't really overline the bottom because they're not, like, my bottom lip is fine. Now I can fix my hair. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video review slash tutorial. Um, let me know what you think down in the comments. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.